In the words of the judge, Molly McLaren was 23, beautiful and intelligent. Her life full of promise ended by Joshua Stimson, the young man she met on a dating app whose response to their relationship breaking up was to plan her brutal murder. This was a narcissistic individual who was evil and should be locked up for a very long time. And I think 26 years does reflect that fact. When CCTV cameras captured Stimson following Molly up into a gym in the dockside area of Chatham, he was already guilty of stalking her. The 26-year-old, who'd been warned about his obsessive behaviour by the police, appears to turn and leave, only to return and take revenge for his rejection. The jury was shown pictures of Stimson entering the gym where sports student Molly was working out, placing his own mat on the floor. A worried Molly messaged her mother, saying, Mum, he's turned up here. There was a brief exchange between the two before Stimson left and waited for her in the car park. Yeah, 136, state six. When police were called by people who saw his frenzied attack on his ex-girlfriend, they found Stimson covered in Molly's blood. He'd stabbed her 75 times and slashed her throat. His arrest was filmed by security cameras. Joshua Stimson claimed he was suffering from a mental condition, but the jury said it was murder. Sentencing him to life with a 26-year minimum, the judge said this was a cruel, calculated and cowardly act. This was an act of wickedness. You were determined to punish her for ending the relationship. You were seeking revenge. Shortly after Stimson was taken away to begin his sentence, Molly's family and friends, who through a two-week trial had sat through the most distressing details of her last moments, gave their reaction. The verdict has brought us a small measure of comfort, but it seems that nothing will take away the pain or allow us to come to terms with our Molly being taken from us. We are serving a lifetime of pain, anguish and loss. Thank you. They have created a foundation in Molly's name and hope her tragic story will act as a warning of the dangers of stalking and misuse of social media.